in this new. Hey guys, I'm Tom Tech Chap, and that definitely happened just like that. No editing or funny business. Now, do you remember these? Every videographer and editor had, or even actually still has, one of these hard drives, tough as nails, but also, of course, very slow compared to a modern SSD. The number of shoots I've been on where I've had to wait an extra half an hour at the end of the day, where they sort of transfer the files and check the rushes and all that pain in the backside. Which is why I have about three of these around the office. This is the Samsung T7. I've also got a couple of the old T5s laying about somewhere, but I'm not always convinced that they're their most durable things in the entire world. If it falls off your desk, if you're out on a shoot and it starts drizzling or gets a bit muddy, which is where these things come in, aptly named the Samsung T7 Shield. And for all intents and purposes, it is one of these, but now a lot tougher. And so a big thank you to Samsung for sending these over for me to have a play with and test out and also offering to sponsor this video. But as always, all opinions and tests are my own. So the T7 Shield comes in three colors and they're all USB 3.2 Gen 2 and they also use the NVMe protocol so you can transfer your photos, your videos, your files, whatever it is you like to keep on your hard drive with read and write speeds of 1050 and 1000 megabytes per second respectively. Which you'll note is the same as the standard T7 model but it's still nearly twice as fast as regular SATA SSDs and also up to 10 times faster than old external hard drives. The funny thing is, when it comes to shaving off a few seconds in the edit or the export or you know whatever it is you're doing in your workflow, people will pay, I pay thousands of pounds to get a slightly faster laptop or a slightly beefier GPU in the PC or something, or even faster internet so I can upload it quicker. But then we often forget about the time it takes to transfer the footage, not just from the SD card maybe to your laptop, but then back onto your main editing PC or giving it to a, an editor or someone else working with you. So while the speeds haven't changed, coming from the already incredibly fast T7, considering the price of these things, it really makes sense to invest in them to speed up your workflow. Now the T7 Shield comes in either one or two terabyte capacities, Perhaps a four terabyte option would have also been nice to see. And also I do love this red color of the T7. So maybe Samsung, if you're listening down the road, you can make a four terabyte one of these in red. Anyway, as I say, both sizes top out at 1050 megabits per second read and 1000 write. Although the two terabyte guarantees up to 1000 megabits per second write speeds versus 900 on the one terabyte when you're transferring a really big file that takes a long time. Now firing up a bit of Crystal Disk Mark, I'm getting speeds that are pretty much bang on what I expected given the specs. Although in practice, I was often getting high 600s. It can vary based on the file type, but I've used a variety of laptops to test this with, with the bundle cable, and it is using the correct NVMe interface. I'm not entirely sure why, but your experience may vary, and Crystal Disk Mark did show that full speed. It is really good to see though that the speeds were consistent throughout. It didn't start to slow down during longer transfers, which is pretty common with a lot of portable SSDs when they hit bandwidth limitations or even they start to overheat. So despite that rubber exterior, everything keeps cool throughout. So it's fast, but the T7 Shield is all about that extra durability. It's got a similar aluminium body like the T7 on the inside that helps to dissipate heat. And then we have this rubber exterior for added toughness. And it's also a lot more grippy, the grippiness factor. I'm not sure if that's actually a word, but it does make a difference when you're on a desk and maybe you nudge it because, well, I can show you right here. So the idea is it's less likely to fall out of your backpack or uh, slide off a desk, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Although if it does, you should still be protected. The T7 Shield offers three meter drop protection, which realistically was always the main cause of concern for me, but we also get IP65 water and dust resistance, so it's protected against low pressure water jets and droplets. It can also withstand more extreme temperatures. It'll work from a freezing zero degrees Celsius up to 60. Although to be fair, I don't think even I could withstand 60. Now little old me here in the studio shoots in 4K60, which is, well, child's play compared to the professionals who shoot in 8 and even 12K. But actually Samsung say that these have been certified for use with Black Magic Design's 12K cameras, which is great for professionals, but perhaps a little bit beyond what I would use it for. I should also say that while I mainly work off a MacBook Pro 16 right now, this is fully compatible with both Mac and Windows, plus most Android phones and tablets, although I imagine it's been best optimized for Samsung's own products. Although I can tell you it does also work with the current iPad Pros. And it is even compatible with your PlayStation or Xbox if you fancy backing up some last gen games to free up your internal storage, or you want to use it to store your video captures. 
Now you don't need to install the Samsung Magician software to use the drive, it really is just plug and play, but it's worth doing if you can, as you get a whole bunch of extra information about the drive, you can name it, you can check on the health, the capacity, plus you've also got security settings, and it's also where you can update the firmware. So in my backpack, I always carry my camera, a microphone, SD cards, extra batteries, chargers, uh, the laptop of course, and now one of these. I was carrying, actually it's probably still well just for the extra capacity, uh, the T7, but now I've switched to the T7 Shield. This is my new adventure buddy, and the extra durability of the Shield just gives you that, I know it's a cliche, but extra peace of mind. The one terabyte T7 Shield will set you back $159, and the two terabyte is $289, which is, I think, surprisingly good value. These are genuinely one of the gadgets that I do use every single day, and I'm not always traipsing up mountains or uh, hiking or adventuring. I'm usually just sat right there in my cozy office with the cat that's also sat right there. So I'm not necessarily always putting this extra durability to the test, to use, but it is good to know you have that extra protection. And if you do travel a lot and go on fancy adventures, then, well, I would highly, highly recommend one of these. Before we finish, I would love to hear if you've got any horror stories about losing files or things being corrupted or your hard drives failing. Stories that perhaps weren't funny at the time, but now you can look back on them. Well, maybe they're still not funny, but share those in the comments below. And if you've got any questions about these, also let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to see more from me, then a cheeky little like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And I'll catch you next time right here on The Tech Chat.